day, viewers. My name is Agali Belinda Chizob. I'm taking on the subject chemistry on the topic suspensions and colloids. By the end of this lesson, the student should be able to define a suspension, list examples and properties of a suspension, describe a colloid and list examples of colloids, list the classes of colloids and distinguish between solutions, suspensions and colloids. A suspension is a mixture in which the particles of the solute are neither soluble nor insoluble, but suspended. Such a mixture is heterogeneous, meaning that the solute is in a different phase and then the solvent is in a different phase. Example, muddy water is a suspension of clay particles in water. Sandstorm is a suspension of dust and fine sand in air. Milk of magnesia is a suspension of a compound of magnesium called magnesium hydroxide in water. In a suspension, the dispersed particles called sediments can be seen with a naked eye. If the suspension is left undisturbed, the dispersed particles eventually settle down, leaving the solvent or dispersion clear. Imagine Miss Mark, the one we take for indigestion. When you bring it the Compound will be down while the solvent will be up, meaning there is a solution. Properties of a suspension. One, its color and composition are not uniform. We are still taking our mist mark as an example. The solvent is uh, clear while the solute has a whitish color. Number two, the particles or sediments can be seen with the naked eye. Why the, settle, why the sediment sorry, will settle down due to gravity by a process called sedimentation. Colloidal dispersion. Colloidal dispersion is a mixture which is neither a liquid solution nor a suspension. It is a false solution. Example, natural milk, blood, gum, glue, and uh, smoke. The particles in a colloid dispersion are known as colloids. Their sizes are intermediate between crystalloids, which can be seen in solution, and sediments, which can be seen in suspensions. They cannot be seen with a naked eye, but will scatter a beam of light that passes through. The scattering of light by colloids in a colloidal solution is called Tyndall effect. In this diagram, you can see two solutions. One is a colloidal mixture of flour and water. One other one is a solution of sugar, a solution of water and red sugar. If you flash a light through this, you can see the light is dispersed. Why here? The light just passed through straight. Classes of colloidal dispersion. In a colloidal solution, the solvent is the medium of dispersion. The solute is dispersed in the solvent. The three classes of colloidal dispersions include one, sol and gel. Sol is the dispersion of solid in a liquid. Example, a starch solution consists of starch powder dispersed in water. When a salt becomes concentrated, it forms a gel where the solute is now more dominant than the solvent. Example, natural honey. Emulsion. Emulsion is the dispersion of liquid in liquid. Example, natural milk is a dispersion of butter fat in a dilute sugar solution. White paints are liquid solutions dispersed in water or alcohol. Aerosol. Aerosol is the dispersion of a liquid or solid in a gas. Examples include cigarette smoke, is tobacco particles in air, fog or smoke. Mist, dew, or cloud is an aerosol dispersion of water vapor in air, meaning that the mist, dew, or clouds are liquids that are dispersed in a gas. Insecticides and perfume sprays are liquid solutions in air. Ladder or foam or gas bubbles is also a dispersion of air in a liquid. When an electrolyte is added to a colloidal dispersion, these colloids become coagulated and precipitated. For instance, addition of a solution of, an, of alum to a sample of well water or tap water coagulates the colloids 
and becomes uh, precipitated. To distinguish between solutions, suspensions, or colloidal dispersion, a membrane can be used. What is a membrane? Membranes are porous seeds that and they are of three types. The first one is filter paper. Filter paper is a non-permeable membrane. Or a filter paper is a special porous paper used for filtration. A solution or colloidal dispersion will pass through a filter paper without leaving a residue. While crystalloids and colloids are small enough to pass through, sediments cannot pass through. They will leave a residue on the filter paper. Parchment or permeable membrane. Only a solution will pass through a permeable membrane by dialysis. Colloids and sediments are too large in size to pass through. They will leave a residue on the filter paper. Dialysis is a process whereby crystalloids in a true solution pass through a permeable membrane. Cellophane or semi-permeable membrane. Only the solvents in a solution, example water, will pass through a semi-permeable membrane by osmosis. Crystalloids in a solution are too large to pass through a cellophane. Osmosis is the movement of small solvent particles from a region of lower to higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. The intake of water in the soil by plants through the roots is by osmosis. Evaluation. What are colloids? Colloids are dispersions of a liquid or solids in either liquid or air solvents. Why sediments are particles that you can find in a suspension. List the three classes of colloidal dispersions and give one example of each of them. The first one is sol and gel, another one is aerosol, another one is a colloidal particles. What is Tyndall effect? Tyndall effect is the scattering of colloidal particles by the flash of a light. Give two examples of solutions that exhibit this phenomenon. Example is a mixture of flour and water, or mixture of starch and water. A suspension is not a true solution. It is a solution in which the solvent and the solid is neither soluble nor, is neither soluble nor insoluble. Mention three types of membrane. We have filter paper, parchment, and then uh, semi-permeable membrane or cellophane. We have come to the end of our lesson. At the end of this lesson, I know you can define a suspension, a colloid, and a type of membrane in which you can distinguish between uh, so solutions, suspensions, and colloids. Thank you for listening. <music>